Macie Krok, Telewizja Polsat. Chciałem spytać, czy wiesz, kto to jest? E, to jest bohater serialu Prison Break. Skazany na śmierć. Skazany na śmierć. Wszyscy mówią, że super. Jest fajny, ale mógłby inaczej się troszkę patrzeć. Nie tak cały tak samo. Dziękuję Ci bardzo. Is it not the map, like in Prison Break? <laughs> It's a good movie. Definitely sexy. I like the, the intensity of it. It's one of my favorite shows. What do you like in the prison break? Uh, there's a lot of action, a lot of twists and turns. Just when you think he's about to get caught somehow, he does some magical stuff to get out. These two main actors from the, in the prison break, Quentin Miller and Dominique Parcell, do you know them? Yeah, they have shaved heads like Britney Spears. Yeah! Do you like Wilford? Yeah. He's a handsome guy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Witam Was ze stolicy światowego filmu, czyli z Hollywood w Kalifornii w Stanach Zjednoczonych. Wentworth Miller to jeden z najbardziej pożądanych kawalerów Hollywood. Ma 35 lat, skończył słynny uniwersytet w Princeton. Zawsze chciał być aktorem, ale grał głównie epizody w serialach znanych również widzom Polsatu. Między innymi Buffy po strach wampirów, Asy z klasy. Oglądaliśmy go także w teledyskach Mara i Carey. Rzadko udziela wywiadów, nie wychodzi z domu, nie wiadomo nawet czy ma dziewczynę. Jaki jest naprawdę Wentworth Miller? Od początku roku w telewizji Polsat możecie oglądać najbardziej popularny w ostatnich latach zagraniczny serial, który tutaj nazywa się Prison Break, a w Polsce ma tytuł Skazany na śmierć. W wielu tygodni główni bohaterowie tego serialu, czyli Dominik Parcell i Wentworth Miller to prawdziwi idole, szczególnie danskiej części widowni. Dlatego też postanowiliśmy przyjechać tutaj, aby przedstawić wam bliżej waszych bohaterów. Could you tell me how close are you to your character and um, do you identify with uh, Mike Schofield? We have some overlap. There's certain characteristics that we have in common. I do have a respect for discipline and organization and follow through. But um, I think my character is those parts of me. Ordinary man in extraordinary circumstances. He's an extraordinary man in extraordinary circumstances. I don't think there's anyone who'd be uh, crazy enough to attempt what he's uh, trying to do. But the one thing I can relate to is the feeling of uh, love and loyalty for a family member. It's called Prison Break. It's about prison, but it's really about family, I think, underneath that, about how far one man is willing to go to uh, save a loved one. You think you would be able to sacrifice your life for, for someone close to you? I do have siblings, and I think I would lay down my life for them. Um, I don't think I could pull off something like Michael's attempting to pull off. I just don't have the mathematical, scientific set book at the end of the day, and I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and there's a lot of payoff to kind of buckling up and taking that roller coaster ride every week with Michael. I read some interviews with you, watched some uh, talk shows with you, and you seem to be a really shy guy. You don't mm -hmm. like all this uh, show business rumor? I don't mind the show business uh, gossip and the rumors and um, the kind of uh, fixation with celebrity that seems to go hand in hand with the business because uh, it's the nature of the beast. Um, it's not going to stop. Uh, you just kind of have to take good with the bad and, uh, and the, um, I uh, can never complain about the fact that the show is a success that I'm coming into people's homes every week um, and uh, I think that there's a natural outgrowth out of that as far as curiosity about who these people are that you see on TV every week because it begins to feel as though they're part of your uh, your your community your extended family involved with the prison break have you taken a lot of castings before I've been in this business for about 10 years I've auditioned for lots of uh, TV projects and feature films and a few years ago I auditioned for the movie Superman when Brett Ratner was attached to direct that project and then two years later he was directing the pilot for prison break and remembered my audition from two years prior and uh, brought me in uh, at the very last minute and uh, it all happened very quickly I got the script on a Friday audition on a Monday and I had the part on Tuesday and then we started filming it the following Monday so it was um, a really quick ride wanted man all over the world <laughs> I can say that about Poland do you like it you know it's made um, certain situations uh, easier I always have something to talk about with uh, new people that I meet but uh, I haven't really changed um, as a person, I think it's important to remember um, who you are, uh, where you've come from, and uh, to remember that it all can change uh, in a moment. Um, these things have a way of being uh, cyclical, uh, circular. So it's fun to be kind of on the it show and uh, the it boy for the moment, but you have to uh, remind yourself that next season there'll be another it show, there'll be another 
uh, it for us. Is this for young people who want to uh, become an actor? Well, I can tell you that it's not just mm -hmm. about talent. It's not just about uh, creative ability. It's about, uh, like um, Michael Schofield is so good at, it's about follow-through, uh, discipline, paying attention to detail. I have a lot of friends who are waiters and, um, you know, they're serving drinks and food uh, while they're uh, trying to make a name for themselves in this business. And if you aren't willing to go home at the end of your shift at that restaurant and put your uh, photograph and resume into an envelope and send that envelope out to agencies each and every week to uh, draw attention to yourself, um, it's never going to happen for you. You need to uh, have the soul of an artist and the uh, the pulse of uh, a bureaucrat. Uh, uh, prison break. You and one of Miller are brothers. And what about your relationships in real life? Do you like each other? Of course, we like each other. You know, we're uh, um, you know Wentz a, um, a gentleman. You know, he's a very genuine person because we're both similar in terms of um, you know our outlook on on the business and. Um, you know, Wentworth and I are not really into the, the hype that comes with being on a hit show or a, that kind of thing, and we're kind of more, more, much more about the work. And uh, you know, it's 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 easier to be, um, it's easier to relate to someone like that. Um, because Lincoln spent a lot of time in jail. No, I love, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I love jail. Maybe go on holidays in San Quentin. And I've never been to jail, thankfully. You're an Australian. A couple of years ago, you decided to move to America. That yeah. was a good move. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been, it's the states has been very, very kind to me. You want to follow in the footsteps of some other famous Aussies, like, I don't know, uh, for example, Russell Crowe or Mel Gibson? Um, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, be nice but if I can um, you know, replicate or um, you know, have a career as, as half as successful as these two guys. You know, I'm, I'm doing all right. Niemal każdy, kto przybywa do Hollywood, marzy o tym, żeby zostać gwiazdą, zostać zaproszonym do kodach teatr i odebrać najbardziej prestiżową nagrodę filmową, jaką jest Oscar. Część z tych osób, zdaniem jednak odbierze Oscara, zaczyna właśnie od takich seriali jak Prison Break. I być może w tym tłumie jest jakiś nowy Dominic Parcel, bądź też Wentworth Miller.